It's Sunday again. Welcome back. To all the people that have been following along and all the new subscribers. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, where are we from the last video? Been down here, changing some things up and doing some sort of, you know, fiddly kind of things. Got some more wires pulled to the back. I'm happy to say that the new zip ties, the new zip tie stickies are holding up. And then here, that's the X and the Y uh, limit, or home switch wires. So this is the side of the base, as you can see. And last video, I was mentioning that I was having, or I had some uh, interference problems between uh, the limit switch, that was the Y that mounted where those two button heads are now. Um, so I've since removed that and went to a different plan. So um, the two button holes, button heads fill the holes, and uh, this is what I came up with for the new and improved one. Improved? I don't know, new for sure. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it would be nice to try to uh, get the switch out of you know sort of all of the junk that it would be exposed to right here. So I moved it under the stepper cover. You can see that all of this will be covered like so. So it's uh, pretty protected. All of the switches on here are, um, they're from McMaster. They're, I don't know if micro, micro switches, micro brand switch. Um, they're like IP 65 sevens, whatever they are. Um, so we'll see how they work. It should be all right though. Um, so what I came up with, that is a number eight um, cap screw and I put it in a 5C collet holder and uh, put it on the surface grinder and probably like 20, 25 thousandths uh, like flats on the uh, edges. And the spring is, you know, so it doesn't adjust itself. And then it comes and trips on here. I got this thing a little crazy bent right now, but uh, and then I'm gonna put some slots here so you can adjust that up and down, and then you can uh, adjust this in and out. So um, we'll see if we have any uh, EMI kind of interference stuff with the. Uh, home switch and the motor being there, but um, I know on my 3D printer, which is super sketchy, uh, and I've never had any problems with the switches right on the steppers. Uh, I'm using some, you know, pretty nice, like, uh, shielded uh, IGIS cable and stuff, and so we'll see. Coming around to the other side, uh, this wire is fixed, of course, it doesn't move. And I wanted some way to fix the wires um, that wasn't a zip tie because for how cool they are, they're just, you know, not gonna hold up to constant, you know, petroleum kind of products. Oil and coolant will eventually, you know, detach them. So I've got these little uh, eighth inch clippers I just, uh, Drilled and tapped some holes in the top of the bolts that hold the base on.
Sorry, the sun's going down and it's right on my back. It actually doesn't look too bad. Um, so you can see here, uh, this, of course, moves with the saddle. So um, that one is just fixed on the back. So it's got some uh, slink in the wire. And then there's my super awesome two into one cord grip. Worked out pretty sweet. And I doubled them up on that so I could get two for the price of one. So yeah, that's the uh, X and the Y homie home homer switch. Let's go check out the Z just for uh, continuity sake. This one's a little different as in it's not like a, you know, bypass style. This one is the same switch. Um, they sell them without the little uh, arm on there. Or I suppose you could take the arm off. But um, These are made for running without the little arm. And the, it's got like a hard uh, plastic kind of tit on the end. Anyways, this is the adjuster for here, and then this, of course, adjusts in and out, and it's got a set screw, must be on the other side, a set screw to lock it once you adjusted it. So that's the Z, 3D printing cover, grease access for the Z, ball nut polished because hell yeah so here is the front of the machine again and granted I don't have the uh, stepper motor on but you can see pretty tricky makes it nice for uh, moving this back and forth uh, this goes on first so stepper motor goes under there this cover covers the stepper motor This little wrench right here. And then this guy fits over here. to bump the camera but it has returned it's funny you probably can't notice but um, I'm using a, a brushless gimbal a three axis and uh, I need to recalibrate the uh, gyros um, I'm sure the uh, video enthusiasts granted this isn't the highest production value but uh, there is some gyro drift on the gimbal. So, the thing will drift as it uh, sits there stationary. Side note. So yeah, that is, uh, that stuff put on there. And um, you can see how this is the movie bit. Let me grab the gutter and um, why don't you let me reposition. Tilting up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the gutter goes over right here. No, it's supposed to. There it goes. So, yeah, that gets you sort of the gist and, uh, you know, sort of how things one thing on the, the next on the next and sort of try to bury the switches and stuff as best I could. So that's about the front. So I think other than the X and Y home switches, uh, I've got this on there too. It's not all snugged up or 
you know, set into its final length, but um, I think I might uh, switch this guy out for a straight one because when the table comes this way, um, yeah, it gets pretty tight and like this 90, I thought it had more clearance, but it sort of naturally holds the, uh, the cable against the floor of the enclosure. And, um, so I might try to put a straight uh, connector on the other end and see where that goes. But I think all of the other ones in the 90s should work out pretty well. Here in the other room, I got some electronics enclosure action, live action. Well, it was live, it's not live anymore. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Was able to get a lot more uh, duct in there than uh, originally anticipated. So, extra legit factor points now, brother. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, what else? Oh, tomorrow, finally. Uh, was waiting for an expansion board from CNC for PC, and it's a, an expander for port like two and three on the smooth stepper. I'm gonna use that for um, the buttons, all the inputs, and uh, keep the MX3660 to just the uh, three stepper motors and the X, Y, and Z home switch. So um, it's really um, a pretty uh, simple like setup as far as lots of inputs and outputs and fancy things going. So yeah, now that uh, all the Components have been laid out and drilled. Pardon the uh, failing fluorescent light fixtures. Um, should make pretty quick work of it. Definitely fun. This uh, this mount for the knock, poof, so sweet, so easy. It just clips right on. You could pull it out and do whatever you need to do to it. Pretty cool. So I think that is the weekend in a nutshell. And I sure do appreciate everyone following along. And yeah, we'll uh, catch you in the next one. So thumbs up if you like, subscribe, and take care. Thanks a lot.